let's jump right into it. We're going to start on the floor today on the mat, so I like to place the mat right in front of the pole. We're going to start on all fours right here, shoulders right over top of those hands, hips over the knees, pull the belly in nice and tight, we're going to circle those hips right here, Some big circles around. Belly button in, circle, let's go the other direction. Let's really tuck and tilt those hips. And then bring it back to the center. We're going to take a little side to side S right here with the spine. So you're just going side to side with it. And then we're going to go big vertical chest circle. So dropping the chest down, bending those arms, pushing the mat away. Drop it down, push it away. So imagine that you're inside of a tube and you need to touch all the way around. Big cat stretch at the top, push that floor. Let's go in the other direction, down and around. Push that floor, cat stretch at the top. Last time here, back to some hip circles and reverse it. And then we're gonna curl those toes under, push back into that down dog. So you're pushing the mat away, driving your butt towards the ceiling. Pulling the shoulders away from the ears, alternate some knee bends here. And you can take a little peekaboo if you want underneath each arm. And then we're gonna walk those hands out into that plank position. So you're pushing that floor away, body nice and long. Hold tight, slow lower. All the way to the mat, uncurl those toes, lift the head and chest, drop it back down. You're going to float that butt back, so it's a snake back. So float your butt up, drop those forearms, let your body glide across the mat, and then bring it forward. So heavy, heavy head and chest, lift the head and chest up, drop it back down. So string attached to your butt, float your butt up, drop those forearms, push it back, and again forward. Lift the head and chest, drop it back down, float it back. You're going to hold that child's pose here, a little peekaboo underneath each arm, and then coming back up all fours. Big vertical circle, pushing that floor away, and then take it in the other direction, two, and back to the top. Go ahead and sit back into those heels, bring those arms up top, we're going to circle here. Abs are still in, go the other way, and then bring it back to the center here. So you're going to squeeze the butt cheeks as you push the hips forward. So you sit back and then push forward. So you're pushing the hips forward, feeling the quads getting warm, butt cheeks. Again, hold this one up top, stay in here, everything cinched, now circle. Circling those hips, circling the chest, feeling the legs, feeling the abs. Go the other way. And then back to the center. Bring those hands back to the mat, all fours. Then vertical circle, pushing it away. And then go in the other direction, down and around. And then back up top. Curl those toes under, push back to that down dog again. You're pushing the mat away. Alternate those knee bends. Let your butt float up towards the ceiling. Walking into that plank again. Pushing the floor away. Abs nice and tight. Elbows in. Hover, hover, hover. Big push back up. Do it again. Hover, hover, hover. Big push back up. Drop those knees. Sit back into those heels again. Arms up top. Big circle. We're bringing it up. So pushing those hips forward and sink back down. Forward and sink back down. Pushing the hips up and down. So you're feeling those quads, feeling the abs. But we're going to go the other direction. So circle the other way. Bring it down, bring it up. You feel those legs. I do for sure. Again. Last one here. Sit back into it. All right. Hands on the mat. Curl those toes under. We're going to walk it back. Roll that body up, take that body roll down, roll it right back up, You're driving the feet into the floor, rounding the back. One more time, bring it all the way. Let's face the front, 
take it nice and wide. Turn those knees and toes out. You're tucking the hips under so the abs are tight. Sink down into it. Knees over those ankles. Head over chest over hips. Check, check, check. All right, arms are coming out. Palms up. Sink up. Sink up. Now add the arms. You're going to bring the arms up top. Up top. So when you're doing this, I want you to think, I know you're thinking legs right now, but I want you to think shoulders and back. So imagine you have a big heavy ball that you're throwing up to the ceiling. Shoulders are down, chest up. We're gonna stay down, stay right here. Turn some doorknobs. So you're really rolling those shoulders over and back, over and back. Sinking into it, you're feeling the legs, but feel those shoulders. Last one, palms down, push behind you. As if you're wringing a ball out behind you or throwing a ball behind. Squish, squish, last one. Bring it back up, palms up, bring it up. Sink a little lower, bring it up, sink lower. Shoulders back and down, you're feeling them warm. Chest up, abs in, Woo. legs, everything you should be feeling. Two more. Stay down. Turn those doorknobs. Woo! Again. Warming up fast here. Palms down. Push behind. Yes. Three, two, stay. Turn the toes to the front. Roll that body up. Body roll right back down. Again, up. Last one. All the way up. Big inhale here. Exhale down, again up, and down. All right, so we're gonna bring it back down. Hands are gonna come to the floor if they can get to the floor. If not, don't worry, I know we're not super warmed up yet. So you're gonna lift that butt up and drop it down. Up, drop it down. Turn to the sides, you can see what I'm doing. Dropping my butt, lifting it. You don't have to straighten my legs either, but if you're ready to, go ahead. You're pushing the feet into the floor, Working those legs. Again. Hold it. Roll it up. Bend those knees. Body roll again. Down. Roll it up. Last one. All the way up. Big inhale here. Up top. Exhale. All right. You can kind of loosen warm now, right? All right. Come to the side of your pole. Palms on the back. Feet close. Side stretch. Open that chest and shoulder. Pull it in, take it back out again. Pull it back in, facing that pole. Round your back, tucking those hips under, pushing your feet into the floor. Really pull those shoulder blades apart, feel that stretch. Roll it up, cross the other side. Palms on the back, feet close, drop those hips out. Open that chest, pull it back in, drop it out again. And pull it back in. Go wide, hands low. Rounding that back again, big back stretch. Pull the shoulder blades apart. Roll it back up top. Taking your back side on the pole, both hands up top. Push that chest forward. You're pushing through each shoulder maybe. Keeping your butt on the pole. Feel that stretch. Bring it back in. Grab it low, thumbs down. Let your body lean away. Roll those shoulders back. Shoulders down, swivel those hips. Bring it back in. All right, to the front. Big inhale here. Exhale. Again, up and down. All right. We're ready. Jump into some things. So come to the side of your pole. We're going to take our back on the pole. Legs nice and wide. Turn those knees and toes out so hips open. Tuck the pelvis under. I don't want this arch, this space between you and the pole. I want you to get rid of it. So you're pulling the belly button in, you're pushing your lower back into the pole. Up on those toes, sink down into that squat. Knees should be right over the ankle. So your back is flat against the pole. Knees over the ankles, back flat, sink down into it. Stay here. You take both hands up top if you want, or if you're happy hanging here, hang here. But you're gonna take a little up down. Abs are in, you're pushing those feet into the floor, feeling the inner thighs, the butt, up and down. Now if you're sticking to the pole, you need to make sure you have a shirt on or a 
tank that doesn't have such an open back so you can easily slide. Last one, stay down right here. Everything tight. Squeeze, drop the heels if you need to. Both hands coming up top. We're gonna drop one knee and then the other. It doesn't matter to which side, she's gonna bring you to the floor. I'm just step on this mat a little bit here. So in the routine, we're gonna use a snake back or floor snake. So I wanna go over and use some, uh, some strength today. So when you come down, we're doing a weird warm-up. You're gonna bring your chest, heavy, heavy head and chest. All right, heavy, heavy head and chest. Your butt's gonna stay up. You're gonna drag that chest across the floor, roll the shoulders back, and lift the head. We're holding one foot just because it's sexier. You drop it down, float that butt up. String attached to your butt. It floats you. You can drop those elbows. So your forearms are gonna help push you back to that child's pose. you to switch legs as well so that you feel out what that feels like from that direction. So again, we'll be in that half split. So I'm going to take my left leg and bend it in that half split because that's where I'll be in my routine. I'm going to reach those arms out so it's long and stretchy and sexy. And then I'm going to come head and chest first, dive into it, kick that other leg up, Float that body down gentle to the floor. So I'm up here, one foot folded. I drop it back down, float that butt back. Use those forearms if I need to, to push back. Okay? So again, that half split right here. Reach those arms way out. Dive into it. Coming up. And again, float back. Sit back into those circles. All righty. So let's get rid of the mat. You can toss it to the side, give yourself some room. Let's come upright to our pole. So I wanted to go over that nice and gentle on the mat. Um, if you need it as we go through in the routine, you certainly can pull your mat back into, um, into your area. But for right now, let's work on the rest of the routine. There is um, climb and pose that we're using. And I always use a climb, a pose, and a descend. So our climb this time is gonna be a side climb. So if you come to your right hand on the pole, you're gonna take that right leg, so it's inside, arm and leg, to the pole. We're gonna hook that leg nice and high, about in line with the hip. Outside, hand is gonna go on top. 
so that you can shove that pole on the floor and your weight's tipped into the pole. The standing leg is gonna come up as I shove the pole on the floor, I'm gonna bring that standing leg on the back side of the pole. I push those hips forward. Regrip, hike the knees, sit the butt back, and push it forward again. Okay. So what's happening in the side climb, if you haven't seen that before, is that you basically are going from a scrunched to a stand, scrunch to stand, just like you would in regular climb, except you're on the side of the pole. So I'm going to show you from the side here so that you can see outside arm on top, inside leg, sit the butt back, shove the pole to the floor as you push those hips forward. We're almost in front of the pole. I re-grip, abs in, hike the knees up, sit the butt back, and push the hips forward. Then I'm going to fold that inside leg, that strong hold, to descend down. All right. Let's look at it on the left side. So left arm, left leg, nice and high. Outside arm goes on top, again, because that tips you into the pole. Shoving the pole on the floor. Standing leg comes on the back side. Sit the butt back. Push the hips forward. Regrip. Crunch. Push. Fold that inside leg as you come down. Okay? We're going to come back to it. When you take your descend, so we're going to kind of break it down backwards. Um, in your descend, you're in your strong hold. So let's take our right hand as our inside arm, outside arm on top. So you're in that strong hold. Strong hold, hands are about shoulder height. You're popping the chest, squeezing the back, elbows back and down. Shove the pole on the floor all the time. So I'm pinching with that inside arm. That inside leg's going to fold back, and I'm pushing those hips forward. So that would be my descend as I come down. So I'm gonna land right here, ready to go into my next part. When we do our side climb, we're gonna add in a side sit. So when we side climb, you have the option to side climb into the side sit, or you can side climb descend, like we just did, and then do your side sit on the floor. It'll make sense in a few minutes, but I'm just giving you a couple variations to look at. So the side sit, that inside leg is going to hook nice and high. Heel squeeze into the butt, inside arm, low, outside arm on top. So that inside arm, two grips I want you to think about. We can use that forearm rest. So the forearm rest on the pole, and it's a gentle grip on the pole here. I'm still shoving the pole on the floor, and I'm still using my back and shoulder to push that pole away right here. The outside arm's on top, though. And I'm shoving that pole on the floor, like I said. So I push, pull, and shove, as well as the heel coming to my butt. That's going to let me be able to float that other leg off the floor. So everything is tight to my little itty-bitty toe. So I push, pull, float. That floating leg, that outside leg, can then cross over. So there's your side sit. And then I bring it back down to step back off, to come back off the pole. Let's look at it with a different grip variation. So same thing, I'm gonna hook high, heel to my butt, knee and hip pretty much in line. Outside arm's still gonna be the top arm. Inside arm though, instead of that forearm rest, you're gonna go palm, thumbs up, and it's push, and it's right above the knee. So I'm gonna put that hand right there, I'm gonna push that pole away as the top hand is pulling. So again, I create that push-pull, just enough it lets me float that other foot off the floor, big push-pull, that lets me cross the other leg over top, and down, okay? Let's look at it on the other side. So inside leg's going to hook, outside arm goes on top, that forearm rest, okay, so my forearm rests on the pole, grip is gentle because it's a push, I'm pushing from the back and the shoulder. So I, I'm not gripping, if you, if you grip, you tend to pull that elbow off the pole, so you want that forearm to keep that good strong push, so I'm push, pull, Again, everything tightens up. That allows me to get that float off the floor, and I can cross that leg over for that side sit. 
So everything's strong and controlled, you're never jumping. Um, if everything's tight, you shouldn't rotate. If you're getting some movement, some rotation, so if I were here, when I bring that leg up, I were turning, that means that this push-pull is not balanced enough and um, my push of this arm is pushing me into a spin around the pole. So you want everything strong all the way down. So if you look at that other grip, again, still the inside hand, but you're going to put it right above where the knee is. It's a big push. Outside arm is pulling. That is equal push-pull, which lets you cross that other leg over. Okay? So let's go back to the right arm. If you side climb up with this, so I'm going to hook the inside leg, outside arm goes on top, I take that side climb. So I'm going to shove the pole on the floor, standing leg comes on the back, I push those hips forward. Now before I go to that next step, if I'm going to get into the sit here, I'm going to re-grip top hand, outside arm goes on top, inside arm, I'm going to use that forearm, push, I hike everything up because the sit, I'm tucked. So I stay here, I don't push up to that next level, and I cross. And if you're good and comfortable there, then that inside arm can even come off. You could rest and hold here. So, or I could, again, use that push, okay? But when I come out of it, I'm gonna uncross the leg, the forearm hand, I'm gonna use that hand to also shove the pole on the floor, and as I pull up, I'm gonna pivot around into that descent, okay? So that seemed like a lot, so I'm gonna go through it right here. Um, again, as we go through together, it should break down a little easier for you, but that side climb is an option. You don't have to climb you know, up. You could just practice your sit from here, or side climb and then descend, and then do your sit from the floor. So I'm gonna show you all those. So if I were to just do my side climb, side climb up, maybe take it up another level, depending on how much pull room I had, and then I can descend with that strong hold, and then set my sit up right here. Either forearm grip or hand right above the knee, push and pull, sit, and step off. Okay, so that I'm still getting a climb, I'm still getting the pose, I'm still getting the descent. So that's what I want you to focus on wherever that level is for you. If you're able to climb and get into it, then here you go. You side climb up. Again, maybe to that next level, maybe not, but either way, you're gonna stop in the crunch part of the side climb. Choosing that forearm or the push. Cross, take your sit wherever you wanna be with it, and then you're gonna use the descent. So I have to come out of the sit, I un uncross that outside leg, pull up, descend in my spin, and then I'm ready to go. So we'll all end up right back here. Let's look at it on the other side. So again, if you are taking the side climb and then coming back down, here is your option. You side climb up to whatever height you're comfortable, come into that inside front hook, descend, reset it up, Choose your forearm grip or hand right above the knee, push, pull, cross and sit, untangle, unravel, and you're ready to go. Option two, you do it all up there. So I side climb, outside hand on top, sit my butt back, push it forward again, and come back down so I get back in the video here. So you're either forearm or push but I need to make sure I'm in the crunch part of the side climb. Then I bring that outside leg over. I can hang out wherever you want to be. And then I pull up, pivot back into that front hook to descend and be ready to go. Okay? All right, keep that in mind. Let's come back to the right arm on the pole. Take that right leg nice and high. Squeeze in some abs here. It's a standing leg. Open that hip up, knee and toe are turned out, reach it out, push that top hip forward, pull it in, elbow to butt. Reach it out, these are my favorite, you will see them 
so many times. All right, they are amazing, but they're challenging. So driving that leg into the floor, top heel squeeze into your butt, add some arms if you want to challenge, elbows pull in, or you carry those heavy arms all the way. One more here. Okay, other side. Hook that leg nice and high. Standing leg turns out, drive that foot into the floor, reaching out, push that top hip forward, pull, elbow to butt, again, slow and controlled, slow, you want time to lengthen and time to strengthen, both arms if you're ready and willing, again, maybe you're going to carry that big heavy bow, yes, one more, Bring it back up. All right, we squeeze those in, shake it all out, ready to go. All right, let's work on this routine. Um, we're gonna use our swing and pirouette. Might be a common move to most of us, I'm sure. So I want you to focus on um, fluidity and placement. So what I mean by that is you want the lead hand high, we're gonna start on the right arm. Inside, leg's gonna open up to face the pole, knee and toe facing the pole, that's important. You're on your toes, outside leg out to the side. Body weight's always hanging away. That outside leg's drawing that big circle around to foot replace. So where you start right here is where you should finish, okay? If I'm truly doing a foot replacement and making it all the way around. Don't worry if you're not, that would be your goal. So outside leg, tip, tip, plant, foot replace, off and turn. Okay, so you're always turning under your arm like you're trying to smell your armpit. <laughs> okay, knee and toe facing the pole, outside leg, tip, tip, plant, foot replace, turn under, 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 backside on the pole. Let's try it again, inside leg open, outside leg out to the side, tip, tip, foot replace, turn under, backside on the pole. So I want you to finish on the front of the pole legs together because we're going to do a little knee knock here, pulling a knee over the center line of the body before we go in to the next part, okay? Let's look at the left side. So left hand nice and high, inside leg opens up, outside legs out to the side. Again, we're going to draw that big circle around, foot replace, you're turning under for that pirouette. So I tip, 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 plant, foot replace, turn under. Okay. So if you didn't make the front of the pole, okay, which I started here, so that's where I finished. I'm going to point that out in a second. But you can peel it out wide, so you cross that center line, wide and open, wide and open, to get wherever you need to be, okay? So I said wherever you start is where you're going to finish. So I started here on the side, that's where I tend to finish. But I want you to finish on the front. So when we walk into it this time, I want you to take that inside leg and step on the front of the pole, and that's where I want you to finish. So I walk around. When I'm ready, that inside leg's gonna step on the front, swing and plant, foot replace, turn it under, and you should finish right where you started. Knee knock, knee knock, and we're ready to go on to the next move, okay? Let's walk right arm, swing and pirouette on the front of the pole. So when you're ready, inside foot, step on the front, swing and plant, foot replace, turn it under, knee knock, knee knock. Again, we're ready to go. Left arm, walk into it, walking around. Inside foot, steps on the front, swing and plant, turn it under, knee knock, knee knock, okay? All right, so we made it. So we're gonna do a kick and crossover that's gonna bring us to the floor. So whatever arm we're on, that same leg is gonna be the crossover leg. So I'm on my left arm right now, left leg then is gonna be my crossover leg. So I'm gonna take that left leg, kick, cross over, all my weight's gonna shift into that foot, and I'm gonna extend that other leg behind me. So I went from hips facing the front to hips facing the floor. If this shoulder is not turning that way, just release it, okay? So we're gonna come down to the floor and I want that inside arm ready to touch the floor. So you're coming into a lunge here. 
How are we gonna do that? <laughs> okay, so I kick, cross over big and far away, extend that other leg behind, take it down. I'm reaching for the floor. If that arm's not working for me, okay, I can let it go off the pole, bring it to the knee as I come down here, okay? Otherwise, it's still up here. Let's look at that again. Left arm and leg. Kick cross over, thread it under, reach for the floor, and let that leg slide behind you. So once you get here, you want the weight in the hand, weight in the leg. If you're holding the pole, great. If you're here, you're gonna re-grip, okay? So if you're holding the pole, you were here, you probably will have to flip that wrist when you get there. So I'm gonna hold, push into the floor, pull on the pole, have all my weight in that back leg, I'm gonna shift it too, because that front leg, I'm gonna swoop it to sit on that hip, okay? So let's stay here. I'm gonna slide down, let that top arm come off. So I'm laying on the hip, top leg, I'm gonna knee, toe, I drop it over, almost as if I were gonna go into roll over into a split. So I can use that top hand as a base. I swing that leg over, I'm gonna swoop the floor, knee and toe, kick, swoop the floor, knee and toe, kick. So strong leg all the way. Knee and toe, kick. One more time, kick. On that last one, you're gonna bend that top knee, bottom leg straight, and you're rolling it over, so you're in that half split. Remember we did that um, four snake a few minutes ago? This is where it comes into play, okay? So we'll get there in just a minute. Let's come back up. Let's go through, um, we just did the left side, so let's go through the left side, left arm, all the way through to where we are. So walking around, that swing and pirouette, inside leg steps on the front, swing and plant, Turn it under, knee knock, knee knock, left leg, kick, cross over, all your weight's in that left leg, right leg kicks behind, let it scoot out there, bring it down, right hand to the floor, so that's that inside arm, flip that top hand, you're pushing into the floor, pulling on the pole, so that you can swoop that leg down and sit, drop down on the elbow, knee, toe, roll it, Swoop it. Knee, toe, over, kick. Again, strong legs all the way through. Last one, bring it to that bent knee, roll it over, okay? Let's go through the other side before we move on. So right arm, okay? Walking around, swing and pirouette. Inside leg to the front, swing and plant. Turn it under, knee knock, knee knock. So the kick and cross over here. Right arm, right leg, kick, cross over. So your hips are facing the front. When you cross over, the hips are gonna face the floor. You extend that other leg behind, reach for the floor with that inside arm, that left arm. Flip that top wrist if you need to, or even bring it to your knee. But you're stopping here, so you can push into the floor nice and strong. Regrip or flip that wrist, push, pull, front leg comes out, sit, knee, toe, roll it over, use that hand for support, swoop the floor, knee, toe, roll it, swoop it, knee, toe, everything strong the whole way. Again, one more. So now we bend that top knee, extend the other leg, so you're in that half split, and here's where we would go into that um, force knee. Let's go through it again. Right side. All right, swing and pirouette here. When you get to the front, inside leg steps, swing and plant, turn it under, knee knock. Again, right arm, right leg, cross it over. Make it big when you cross over. That gives you all the room to get there. So you're not so twisted. Reach for the floor, flip that top wrist, swoop it, knee, toe, roll it over. Knee, 
toe tip it so it looks like you're going into a split one more time hold this one up top bend that knee all right so here we go we're into that floor snake and dive so i'm going to reach the hands out all my weight's going to go in the hands and it's going to stay in this leg i'm going to kick the other leg up so i reach 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 swoop heavy head and chest then i bring it back float that butt string attached to the butt elbows can drop down push it back all right then we're going to drag those hands back big circles here we need to be able to get to this side of the pole so when you sit back into your circles you're kind of assessing that you're on this side of the pole don't worry if you're not we can fix it um, so when you're circling it's kind of what you're doing because we're going to take that inside arm the arm closest to the pole we're going to reach behind us so if you're not behind the pole here but you can kind of slide there as well but I, either way we're rolling over on this side of the pole so once I stretch and reach I'm going to roll towards the pole that back leg or right leg is going to kick I clear the pole so I can roll over the poles in between the legs then I'm going to take those hands of the chest I'm going to float that butt up just a little bit maybe a little toss side to side showing it off and then I'm going to bring a knee up, bring the other knee up, and I can pop those legs up wide or side. So popping both legs up wide or one leg straight, one leg bent. So here's your options, both wide, okay? Or if you're going to do one leg straight, one leg bent, that um, half straddle basically, you can pop it up, doesn't matter to me which leg goes straight, whatever one goes, and I'm going to pop one leg straight one leg bent push my butt into the pole and I trace it right back up so either option you end up with your backside to the pole okay let's look at it from the right side so from our swing and pirouette walking around swing and pirouette inside leg steps on the front swing and plant and turn it under knee knock all right kick and cross over right leg right arm big crossover Extend, slide it down, reach for that floor, flip that top wrist, swoop the front leg, knee, toe, roll it over. Strong legs. Watch that bottom shoulder as well. You don't want to sink into it, so keep pushing that floor away. Let's go one more time here. Hold it up top, bend that top knee. Here we go for that dive, so you're going to reach it out. Dive into it. Bring it back, float that butt back, sit back and circle. Remember, you're going to this side of the pole, so you're checking it out. What do you need to do? Now reach behind with that inside arm, start to roll and clear. Clear, over. Float that butt back, show it off, and then knees up. Now you can also, especially if you have socks or shoes, um, you can pop right up from here. So if I were to push and pop, I would float my butt up, pull those knees in, give that little push back and pop, or, so I'm totally stuck to the floor here, sweating, so I might not be able to pop it up, but let me try. So I push, <laughs> too stuck to the dang on floor. Anyway, you could pop right up from there. See, sweaty, sweaty. So I'm just gonna bring one leg up, you could bring both, so here's all your options and I can pop right from there and flip it up, okay? If you were down here, if you wanted to bring both up, meaning one and then the other and then pop, maybe you wanted to go wide, okay? Either way, you're coming back up. We're all finishing here, okay? So let's move on since I'm here. We did the right side, so I'm gonna take that right arm back up top, turn the knees and toes out, flatten that back against the pole. Take that big plie squat and trace again. Bring it back up. So whatever arm you're on, we're on the right side right now, you're gonna turn the opposite way. So I turn away and I'm ready to walk because then I'm gonna go into my side climbing pose, okay? Before we get there, let's go through the left side. So left side, walking around. 
that swing and pirouette. Inside leg, plant on the front, swing and plant, turn it under, knee knock, knee knock, again. Left arm, left leg, kick and cross over, big plant all your weight there, extend that other leg. Reach for the floor, flip that top hand. Front leg swoops back as you come down. Knee, toe, rolling over. Strong, powerful legs all the way. Again. Let's go last one here. Bend that top knee, extend the other. Now you're diving into that floor snake. So reach the arms out, all the weight in the hands and in that knee. Dive it. Bring it back, float that butt back. All the way, sit here in circle. So again, you're assessing where are you? You're going on this side of the pole. So hopefully you're there. If not, you're just gonna reach a little further right now. Inside arm, clear, roll it over. So the pole is split between your legs, hands by the chest. Again, you can pop right up here if you're having some slinky socks on or shoes that let you slide. Again, I'm so stuck to the floor. So I'm gonna come up here with one leg, maybe two, or I pop right up here. Wide leg or side leg, and you trace it right back up. So remember those knees and toes then are gonna turn out. Back's gonna go flat against the pole, abs in. Take it down, left arms up top, because we're on the left side. And again, hold this one at the top. Turn, we're on the left arm, so you're gonna turn right. Under. That lets you get ready for that side climb and pose, okay? Let's go through again, left side. Walking around, that swing and pirouette. Inside foot steps on the front, swing and plant, turn it under, knee knock, knee knock. Here we go, left arm, left leg, cross it over, thread it, reach for the floor, flip that top hand, swoop it back, knee, toe, over. Strong legs, again. One more, hold it up top, bend that top knee as you roll over, Dive into that floor snake. Bring it back. Sit back in circle. Checking where you are. Again, you want to be able to clear that pole. Inside arm reaches behind. Clear as you roll over. Float that butt back a little bit. Show it off. And then bring those knees up. Wide leg or side leg. Pop it up. Push back into that pole. Nice and wide, big plies here, abs in. It's the left arm up top since we were doing the left side. Ready to turn, turn away. So you should still be on the left arm, ready to go into your side climbing pose, okay? So once we do the side climbing pose and we come back down, we're then gonna walk into our spin. So I wanna break that down next before we try to put it together. So get a drink, wipe your pole if you need to. Um, your hands so we can get ready to spin. So, um, we're going to use a front hook and whip spin. When we walk into that, it's definitely a spin you want to walk into for sure, um, but when we walk into it, your lead hand's nice and high. So let's start on the right arm. When you walk, that inside leg's gonna kick as you're tipping into the spin, and then you're gonna pull that leg back and hook. You wanna hook a little bit higher, so don't hook down low, hook up high. And then as you're tipping forward into the spin, you're gonna push off that standing leg, no jumping, you just push off, and that standing leg is then going to whip around, so you end up kind of pinching the knees together, outside leg would be extended. So I'm gonna swing it and pinch the legs together. It almost turns it into a chair spin. Um, so what I mean by that is the inside leg starts as a hook, but as this outside leg comes around, this leg's gonna pull off, okay? So we actually are gonna land right on that foot. Um, so you don't wanna squeeze for dear life with the back of that knee is basically what I'm saying with that. You wanna be able to be fluid and come off of the pole to land on that inside foot. You can use two hands, 
So you're shoving the pole on the floor, really pulling that shoulder back and down. The outside arm with the outside leg would come to the pole. You're gonna push the pole away. So you're creating that big push-pull um, again with that. So you don't wanna grip with that bottom hand or that outside hand, because then when we grip, we tend to pull in, and you want that to push. So big push, and you're pushing again from the back and shoulder, top arm, you're pulling that shoulder back and down, always. So always imagine you're shoving the pole on the floor. Let me show it to you so it makes sense if you haven't seen it before. I'm gonna walk into it, I'll walk around. When I'm ready, that inside leg is going to tip, hook, and go. Here we go. Inside leg, tip, hook, whip, pulls me right off the pole, okay? So as I tip, I hook, outside leg comes around, I sit back into it, and that lets that inside leg come off. Um, you can also use the martini spin if this isn't something that you're quite ready for yet or if you try and it's not quite working. The martini spin, the outside leg, heel hook, knee stays up as you would tip into the spin. Standing leg is going to lift and you're pinching the pole in between the legs. So I'm landing on that hooked leg. So the difference between the two, we still have one straight and one bent. We're still squeezing the legs together. Option with the martini spin, you're actually pinching the pole in between your legs here. So more of a beginner option there. With the front hook and whip, you're not pinching the pole at all. The only point of contact is that lean arm. So <clears throat> when I get into the front hook and whip, my inside leg's gonna hook, outside leg comes around. I'm still one straight, one bent, pinching the legs together, but it's on the outside of the pole, okay? So I'm gonna show it to you again. I walk into it, inside leg, tip, hook, whip, and that allows me to stay off the pole, that inside leg comes off. If I'm doing the martini spin, when I walk around, the outside leg hooks, tip, lift, and pinch, and I land right on the foot. And I can do just a little booty up or sexy up to come back up. Or if I cut out a bit early, I can land here. So giving you some choices there. Let's look at it on the left side, given that side a break. So again, you're shoving the pole on the floor, pulling that shoulder back and down. Always, okay, the inside leg is gonna tip, hook, you're hooking kinda high on the pole. As you tip into it, that outside leg gives that big whip, you sit your butt back. So as you're tipping forward into it, your hips are kinda falling forward, you're pushing forward, you're in this hook and push forward. But as you whip that back leg off, you tuck everything under and whip it in. So that helps you get into the spin. So I'll show you walking into it. You can come with me if you want. Inside leg, when you're ready, it's going to tip and hook. Tip and hook, whip. Pulls you right off, and you're ready to come back out. So again, you can use two hands. So when I go into it, I can bring that leg and arm towards the pole. I'm going to push away, though. I walk around. When I'm ready, inside leg, hook. Bring the arm, push. So I create that big push and pull that allows me to stay um, stable in my spin. So front hook and whip or martini spin. Either version, you're going to land on your feet. One straight, one bent, hopefully. The martini spin might take you down here a little bit more. You can bring both feet in and then just bring it back up with a sexy upper booty up. Okay? Wipe your pole. Let's try to put this together run through it a couple times, and then you'll have some time to practice and play. So remember, we're gonna put in that climb and pose. So we have a climb, pose, and descend. Side climb, side sit, and that um, stronghold inside front hook, descend. So wipe your pole if you need to. Get that drink. Let's do this, ladies. And boys, we might have a few of this. Whoever's with me. All right. Start on the right arm with that walk, and we're going to go into our swing pirouette. 
Next time, here we go. Inside leg, steps on the front, swing and plant, turn it under, hold it here, knee knock. Right arm, right leg, kick and cross over. Right leg, cross it over big. All the weight goes there, reach for that floor, flip that top hand, swoop that top leg back. Knee, toe, roll it over again. So it's like you're rolling into a half split. Again. One more. Hold it up there. Drop that top knee, diving into that snake. Bring it back, float that butt back, use those forearms. Sit back into it, big circles here, checking where you are. Here we go, inside arm, reach it, clear it. Float that butt up a little bit, show it off. And then bringing it up, so side leg, wide leg, pop it up, flip it up, tuck those hips, right arm up top. Big plie squat here, two, turning away. Going into that side climb, inside leg, shove the pole on the floor, push it up. Forearm or half, push. Outside leg crosses over. Maybe you can let go, regrip, pull it up, uncross, front hook, Spins down. Right arm taking a walk. We're getting ready for that spin. So either that martini or front hook. When you're ready, take it there. Inside leg for front hook. Outside leg for that martini. Bring it up. Couple body rolls. We'll let you untangle, catch up. Let's walk left side. Left arm. When you get to the front, swing and pirouette. Swing and plant. Turn it under, knee knock, knee knock. Outside leg crosses over, extend hip and reach. Flip that top hand, sweep that knee and toe, roll it over, knee and toe. Again, one more time. Hold it up top, bend that top knee, half split. Here we go, dive into that floor snake. Bring it back. Up top, big circles. Bringing that inside arm down, you're clearing that pull. Roll it over. Float that butt back, show it off. And all the way. Bring those knees up, wide leg or side leg. Pop it up, flip it up, left hand up top. Tuck those hips under, big plie squat. Here we go, turning away. Left arm taking that walk. Ready for that side climb when you're ready. Inside leg, outside arm on top. Push it up. Switch, outside leg crosses over. So that push here, forearm, or it's off. Regrip, pull it up, unravel, bring it down. Left arm taking a walk. Ready for that spin. Martini's the outside hook. Front hook and whip with that inside leg when you're ready. Meet you at the floor. Body roll. Yes. Let's get through it again. So remember your climb and pose option. Um, I just went right into the side climb right there. But you can side climb, come down, and then try your sit, okay? So you could do that from the floor right here. All right. Instead of up top. So I've just given you some options and progressions. Okay? Let's go again. Right side, walking through. Swing and pirouette. When you get to the front, inside foot. Swing and plant. Turn it under. Knee knock. Right arm, right leg. Kick. Cross over. Thread it down. Free grip that hand. Swoop that front foot. Up top, knee and toe, swoop the ground, kick. Again. One more, hold this one up top. Bend that top knee as you roll over. Reach those arms out, dive into it. Bring it back. Big circles. Inside arm, 
Roll it over. Clear that pole. Up. Over. Float that butt back. Show it off. Bring those knees up. Wide leg or side leg. Pop it up. Flip it up. Right arm. Tuck everything under. Big squat here. Turn it under. Here we go. Climbing up. Right leg. Side climb. Crunch and sit. Cross it over. Coming down. Regrip. Pull up. Shove that pole on the floor. Unravel into that front hook. Right arm. Take a walk. Ready for that spin. Martini or front hook. Inside leg. Front hook. Hold it here. Roll out that body roll. One more time. Let's go left. Left arm. When you get to the front, that swing and pirouette. Inside leg, swing and plant. Turn it under. Out and knock. Left leg and arm. Over. Reach. Flip that top hand. Swoop that leg. Knee, toe, over. Strong legs. One more. Fold that top knee. Ready to dive? Let's do it. Bring it back. Slip back. Circles. Inside arm. Roll it over. Clear that pole. Float that butt back. Oh, yeah. Bring the knees up. Pop it up. You're almost there. Flip it up. Left arm. Tuck it under. Squat. Here we go. Turn it. Left arm. Ready for that side climb. Outside arm on top. Side climb it up. Crunch. Forearm. Sit. Yes. Grab that pole. Whip it back. Front hook. Left arm. Take a walk. You're ready for that spin. Martini or front hook and whip. Inside leg. Front hook. Whip it. You did it. Yes. All right, cooling down a little bit. Feel free, as always, keep going. Run through it over and over, work on those progressions. Peel it out wide right here. Circle. Dip side to side. And breathe. Hold it up top. Let's walk those hands down. Hold it right here, shift into those hips and each foot. Turn those knees and toes out. Let's glide side to side. So you're sinking into one side, opening up that hip, knee and toe face from the ceiling. Take it over to the other side, knee and toe face from the ceiling. Again. And bring it back to the center. Walk those toes in a little bit. Roll that body up and the knees. Body roll. Again. One more. All the way up. Big shoulder rolls. And forward. Let's come to the pole. Side stretch, palms on the back. Feet close, drop that body out. And then pull it back in. Cross to the other side. Palms on the back, feet close, drop those hips out. And then pull it right back in. Up wide, let's take that back stretch. Round that back, just let your weight hang right off the pole. Tucking those hips under. Really round, pull those shoulder blades apart. And then we'll roll it all the way up. Turn around with your backside on the pole. Both hands up top, thumbs down. Keep your butt there. Let that chest push forward, push through each shoulder. And then pull it back in. Regrip low, thumbs down, let your body lean away. Roll those shoulders back and down. Swivel those hips to keep some movement. So really make sure the shoulders are pulled back and down. And then take your head side to side. And then just stick that chin forward nice and long. Feel that stretch down the neck, down the shoulders. You can let those hips fall forward a little bit to get a deeper shoulder stretch. And then bring it back in. Come around to the front. Just resting on the pole here, tucking those hips under. Big inhale, exhale down, inhale up, 
As you exhale, this time push the walls away. So really push, pull those shoulders back and down. Pushing the walls away, you're gonna push through the right hand and tip your head to the left. So I'm pushing, pushing, and then bring it back up top. <clears throat> Drop your head to the right, push through the left side. So you're pushing, feel that stretch run down the neck and arm, and bring it back up top. Drop those arms, big inhale here, up. Exhale down, again up. And exhale. Awesome job. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you for the next class.